One, two, three. One, one, two. And then this seven times we should do it. Absolutely spectacularly like that. We're all pointing towards the middleman, and yet we gotta face him. Welcome back to Sincere Deceit. We were stuck on this puzzle for a long time, but yet now we have finally done it. So I'm not sure what on earth that did, because we've done it, yet we've yielded no results. Maybe it has done something? Let's go back and see at the main. Okay, it has done something. It has removed before like blockage statues and what i don't know <laughs> oh dear i woke up really late today like i usually wake up about 8 30 i overslept slept till 9 15 a.m so now it's just a matter of trying to wake up it's inanimate yep i would hope so and this is a painting here the title has been rubbed away look at the painting that is horrific I don't know what's going on about you, buddy, but you're horrific. And here, this kind of looks like where the hand was. A pile of rotting bodies. Like one in the red room at all times. This mannequin is blocking the door, but there's a keypad on it for inputting a number. I... I have no idea. We got out of one predicament, but now we're in a completely different one. And I have no idea on how to solve it as well, so we just have to keep looking around until something bears fruit. Maybe it's something to do with one of these inanimate objects. It's pointing at the wall. It's inanimate. Inanimate. Okay, so why is he pointing towards the wall? There we go. Here's something. Hmm. There appears to be some sort of journal on this table. Read the journal? Absolutely. The flesh of men can only hold at a dusk for so long. We are imperfect, doomed to fail each and every time. We become putrid and rotten. The souls within fight inside their shells. Only one remains now. An almost success, but it's still not perfect. It will come in handy in acquiring what is mine. It just needs to fulfill its purpose. Then it can lie with the rest of the filth. And what would that be? Some sort of journal on the table. As he explored, I took note of his being, the way he walked, how he spoke, and him held himself. No detail went overlooked, and when I was finally in control, I could feel his struggling essence. I knew he was the one who would be the perfect fit for me. This body of mine is slowly fading, but with his help I will be whole again. He will help hold back the tide of corruption inside me. The thing inside me is reefing violently at the thought of it. Is it in fear or anticipation for the end to come? Perhaps it is both. Perhaps if it's none. If it doesn't work, then perhaps his flesh will make for a more suitable host. Let the ectoplasm consume him and finally leave my weakened body just a little longer. And it will be over. No matter what happens, he will be mine and mine alone. Yet a plaza may take him, but I will still have him in spirit. Alright, you talk about the batter then. It's talking like how he's like a mass product, produce, a mass produced unit. Today I saw an angel of pure heavenly beauty enter my realm. Through the eyes of the workers I spied, and armed by his form and the way he held his head high. Pulling out the strings wrapped tightly around him was a creature most vile. One that I knew I would need to defeat to make the angel my own. You talk about the player, me? But they were cunning, disrupting my performance and yanking the strings out of my hands. How I wish I could snap those strings, cut them until they can all control what is mine. All those who wander into my world belong to me and me alone. No one else shall have him while I still breathe. Alright, man. Inanimate. Inanimate. Inanimate, 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 and we can't tell, can't tell what's up there actually. Great, I thought I found a helping hand for this situation, but it turns out that a bit of information was completely useless for progressing through the story. Do you have anything to offer? No, you're just annoying. 
thanks, including last year, of course. So what on earth can we do about this? Because there's zero clues within the rooms themselves. Like, you can take those stories and try and mend them into some way of being like being able to fathom up the number itself. Like, if you um, get the references of off or something. Which I'll probably most likely think, which was what the doll room puzzle was. It's just a bunch of references towards off-related stuff. And then try and mingle them together and there you got the code. Like, I don't work like that. I don't like it that you have to refer to an external source outside of the game in order to solve something within a game. I think it's just one of the most serious approaches to um, puzzle or riddle mechanic stuff. Like, like, there are things, yes, outside, which are like general knowledge, which is more acceptable because it's something that everybody would, well, not everybody, but the majority of people would know. But when it comes to specific stuff like you have to refer to another game in order to solve a bit within a game, then it's just really silly. They wriggled so as the best parts were stripped off from their bodies. Do you, do you not know that they will be the beginning of something perfect? I think I've already read these before. A code we picked up from the paintings? Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense, because we picked up a code earlier, but I just didn't remember that it was a thing, really. A black liquid is dripping out of a mannequin. It's a mannequin, it's a mannequin, a black liquid, it's most likely liquid plastic or something like that. Who knows? And there's something there. There's a mannequin on the table, look at the mannequin. Oh. Well, hi. Place a flower. How do we know what to put on this guy? You lack the required item. How do we know what to put on him? Take a plus. What? Uh, my passion broke. It ate for you. Okay. My favor lost. My head hurts. How do we even know what these flowers are meant to be? Okay, yeah, general knowledge and stuff like that. Uh, blue iris. Plastic lavender. So that's most likely the lavender one at the bottom. Or the blue iris. Or well, blue iris is one that's um, the third one down. Uh, marigold. That's most likely the second one. And the first one. Okay, I think they're all in order. <laughs> Not meant to fathom out what it is. My passion broke, it aches for you. My creativity severed my like my limbs. My faith lost, my head hurts. They can't heal me, not anymore. Um, passion is also a word for heart. So maybe it goes in the eye, where, um, no wait, passion is heart, so it would go, oh, there's four of these. Well, Put the rose there, and that would be it. Actually, we'll take all of them, and then work out the meaning of them all when we refer, refer back to the thing. Right. So there's one lower. Oh, the limbs is the bottom one, most definitely, or the the arm one. They can't heal me not anymore. That is very vague of a clue. But then again, you could work out the other three and then go from there. My passion broke, it aches for you. Creativity severed. Okay, so the blue iris must be the head. Hmm. I'm just thinking it must be the head. So, and then there's the other two. I still need to refer to this, I'm sorry. My remembering is so bad. Okay, so my creativity severed like my limbs. So there's the marigold and the lavender left. So the lavender has to be down here, and then the marigold has to be here. Okay, I'm very glad of that, and yikes, look at you my friend, <laughs> you look stunning and fine today my buddy, would you like to go out for dinner now that you're ready, and there's that. The mannequin is bleeding. Yeah, we don't want to look at it. Not now, anyways. Oh, God, that looks like a face. <laughs> the floor looks like a face. 
Right, what's this way? Uh, what appear to be bookshelves. We might be at a church or something. But <laughs> once again, here we are, dear Flare Blist. <laughs> you have wormed your way into my home. Fighting all that has stood in your way, it seems nothing is too strong for you. I must stop giving you so much unnecessary credit. It is only because of him that you were able to get this far. Nevertheless, I am sure you have taken notice of my, so my work within my home. Did you like them? No, I didn't. Sadly, they aren't nearly as perfect as your puppet. They are all worthless, made from weak and frightened flesh. Of course they would never be as perfect as him. Nothing will ever come close to him. However, I believe my newest creation will prove to you that I am worthy of controlling your puppet. He should be just as strong enough. Just strong enough to finish your job. I present my latest masterpiece to you, dear Flair Bliss. He will surely tear your strings apart. Thanks for that. Hi. Yeah, of course. Of course he would. I mean, just look at him. He's just a demified form of us. Are you still weak to smoke? Yeah, I think you are weak to smoke. There we go. Your magnificent puppet has no chance against me. <laughs> You're too easy. No, wait, it might be because I'm too over leveled. I'm over leveled. My character's are over leveled. I've grinded too much. Hi there. Goodbye. So it wasn't enough at the all. But why? Why can't I beat you? It makes no sense. I studied every inch of your puppet. I've memorized every last strength and weakness. Why must my creations be so flawed, so imperfect and useless? What must I do to yank those dreams from your hands? You are not worthy of controlling him. I should be the one to unlock his potential. You cannot win, Flipplist. I will take him from you one way or another. <laughs> Jaden. Here we are then. Your sick game is over. <laughs> what is the mean of this intrusion? Heh. <laughs> friends of yours, Flipplist? They are a bit late to the party. I will hardly call us friends after what happened in the apartment. Batter, move out of the way now or we will make you move. You have won in a way. You have proven you aren't capable of stopping anyone. Enough! We have come to take you down. Your twisted acts of cruelty will not go unpunished. <laughs> <laughs> twisted acts of cruelty? You must be joking. What I do is an art form. I take the ugly and asymmetrical and make it perfect. But you can never understand this, for you are a blind fool. Enough of this BS, men! Kill this psycho! I think not. And they turned. Yep, they're now mind controlled. Men? You really are a fool. Your men are all so weak minded. It makes it quite easier for me to control them. But I cannot afford to waste my energy on garbage such as yourself. Come, Flare Bliss. Follow me if you dare. We shall settle this. <laughs> no, you son of a blank! Get out of my way! We have to chase after them now! No! Damn it! No! <laughs> oh dear. Yep. I will make you pay for this. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Let us settle. Oh, look at that! It's a shared face. Did they ruin your parade then by intruding within your part? Well, hi. Angry. Oh, what that? Not at the moment. And how the hell can we return outside if the corridors have been blocked off? Do you wish to enter? Yes. I think we are very well suited. So, you made it this far. I feel that I must apologize. You may have found my deeper offices to be a lot less organized. Oh, so that's the reason why you apologize. <laughs> Surely you understand, my dear. All this work is quite stressful. My work is ever so meticulous. I cannot be expected to keep everything so tidy. One tiny little slip, and it all just crans into a perverted disharmony. Unless... <laughs> pathetic. Imperfect. Garbage. 
none of this truly matters. You want to know why? Because my work will never live up to the masterpiece that is your puppet. It will never be as perfect and beautiful as he is. Everything I have made has all been a waste of time. I knew this from the moment my eyes laid upon his angelic figure. Perfection only heaven itself could create. And that's why he should be mine. He should be mine. All you are doing is wasting his potential. Nah, I am fulfilling his potential, dear puppet manipulator. Very well. It seems I have no other choice. If you will not give him up, then I shall take him from you by force. Prepare yourself, Flare Blist. Today you shall fall, and I shall take what is mine. All right, man. Let's see what you're all about. Jaden, Guardian of the Entertainment District, 3600, 3200, weak to bat, and muted, and blinded, resistant, non-applicable, okay, that's a psychological gambit, yep, that is what you is, a psychological annoyance, well, I'm really digging this o OST, I wonder what it's called within these sound files, you're no guardian of this district anymore, clown, puppet, Fool, what? But how? How did you? This, this is unfair. I, I, I can still just give him to me. I need him. Give him to me. You have been defeated. No, just give up and let me win. You don't understand why I need this. I refuse to just go down like this. If I can't have you, then I'll just take your little toys. Oh. You're talking about my add-ons. <laughs> You're nothing without them. Oh. How dare you interrupt me. Let me finish speaking before you go. <laughs> oh, I feel very unwell. On second thought, maybe you should just run along now. Yes, I don't need you anymore, so leave. I have what I want. Really, I don't need your puppet to. Uh, what have you done? No, please. I didn't mean it. It was just a joke, I swear. I can still handle- No, you can't handle this. No more wait and I'll destroy you myself. Now you will die, and your body shall be mine. Mine. Alright, man. Oh, great, and he's got my add-ons too? Goodness sakes. Like, this has now become more difficult. Okay, when we um, defeat the add-ons, then they become ours again, which is a nice thing. So, the uh, the other one was the wave one, so we need metal for the uh, omega one. There we go. Now we're back at full force of defeating this fiend again. There we go. Down out for the count once again. Guardian of this district. No more. Piscus card received. Hell yeah. Now you shall be down out of the count, you demon. You. You have been defeated, Jarden. Do not get up again. P please. Don't do this. It wasn't my fault. But that fiend inside me did it. It wanted this to happen. Really now? I, I don't want to die like this. Not by your hand. This is betrayal. You fear me? Stay away from me! Please! And, no. This district is now pure. And the pure word is grey. Hmm. Lost and afraid to hid yourself from the world, your sadness turned to rage towards those who tried to help. You let the parasite consume you from the inside, and followed him in suit. Okay, so, another one has not been broken, so... I wonder what that would mean, or maybe that's just the symbol itself. It's not meant to have a suit on it. Like the one before, you let your mind break from your grief, and let the world fall apart around you. The innocent suffered at your hand. It will never be the same again. I wonder what's inside there. Like, that's a mystery in itself. Two of the four circles have been reddened. Zone three awaits, player blist. As before, go there and unlock the way to the final district. 
We don't have much time. He is beginning to stir once more. Please hurry. The serpent you mean. We shall be aware of all this. Health points and competence points completely restored. Now, remember in off that the zone three is a industry based one. So let's see what is up over there then. Hmm. Prison Island isn't the next district after Zone 3, I would imagine. I imagine that would be like a Final Frontier sort of thing, or near about the Final Frontier. Zone 2, Zone 3, impossible to enter, impossible to enter, impossible to enter. I imagine we could enter there once we completed Zone 3 and then completed what was inside the city, the district over there. Hello. Um, the water looks completely murky, so I am correct, this is an industry-based one. This also has one which has the most annoying riddles, if I remember correctly. Hello. I can hardly breathe. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Like, really, I am sorry to hear that. Like, the, the lack of ability to breathe is horrifying. Hello there, Data. Exploring the factory today. Look at all this filth pouring out into the plastic ocean. It's bad enough that people are, the people are poisoned, but now they are spreading it even more. If this continues, it might spread to the city of Abrella if given the chance. That would be a sad sight to behold. We apologize for such sad commentary on the state of the world. You should run along and finish your mission here. We will be leaving, perhaps much sooner than we originally intended. The zone is just too far gone. Okay. Now I see what you mean by that. And I also know that this is going to be a maze. Because... If we try and go to a certain portion of this maze, we will be dumbfounded. And hi there. No. Good day, dear reckless compass. I've somewhat changed. Anatomically speaking. But you have obviously recognized me at first glance. I'm your friend of a judge! Zachary? No. So my disguise is no match for your <laughs> no match for your keen and unforgiving eyesight. Pablo isn't really in top form at the moment. I'm going to replace him for some time. Anyway, I'll be hunting down obscure cues I shall take pleasure in revealing to you little by little in the most destructive way. <laughs> I can already smell for good times. No. Are you going for a stroll near the dormitories in the meantime? I know that the spectres are quite active. Take a peek inside and you might find something that might come in handy. No. Hmm. But I don't know which no. ways to go, though. Talk to me when you're done. Uh. But how do I know which way to go within the maze without any hints and stuff like that? It's almost like we're meant to go in there blindfolded. Like, let me just go for a random stroll. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know now. Down out of account you go. And credits and experience are for me. Lovely. Right, let's look at this poster. Memo, clean up after any mess you make. I will do my best. Do my best indeed. Let's look at the dormitories. Memo, sweet dreams. <laughs> sweet dream dreams. No, dream sweet dreams tonight. My bad. I was thinking sweet dreams because that's how it's usually going along. <gasps> Hold on. There's another add-on there, hell yes! Add-on ex villain has joined you. I don't know, the director lied to us. Who's the director? Who is the man that you call the director? Oh, hello. Ah, this attacks multiple enemies. Special attack of multiple low impacts. Uh, medical impacts. Important impacts. Reduces resistance to bad attacks. That's nice. Reduces resistance to add on attacks. Okay, so this is about hitting multiple foes and reducing resistances to a particular type of attack, which is nice because it can remove a strength and also provide an extra weakness to those who are weak to it already. So let's see, equipment. I need you to have. You've already got that one on. I don't, don't want that one, although we haven't encountered Aura of Dominance yet, I imagine. No, we, we've only got Honor so far. So there's that one. 
get a fortitude, and we've not got a special yet for you. Okay, we've asked you to amplify your defenses somewhat. And you've got something which we need later on. So I imagine we'll go to a shop later on and we'll be able to get the Ore of Dominance from the others. Which I would think would be a lovely feating if I were you. If I think so too. And something here, do not look behind you. The Spectrals are harmless, do not look behind you. I just did. Let's move on. They deserved death. What did they do wrong? A pile of corpses. What did they do wrong, man? What did they do wrong? Honestly, what did they do wrong? Oh. I can feel it moving inside my skin. Please, make it stop. All right, we'll make it stop. Just, oh my gosh, you are hideous. There we go, that works like a charm. And Espleon's treatment of reducing resistance to a particular kind of attack is really nice. Merciless home run has been acquired. He is inside my head. No more. You will not be in your head anymore. Let's see, Merciless home run. Special plastic attack of disastrous impact. Hell yeah. So now we need one for the meat one. No, wait. So special meat. Uh, so we need one for the metal one now. One that is better than just run with courage. Courageous home run. So good on those lines. Okay, let's go along here. No, there's nothing else actually. Except the ones in here, obviously. These looks like muted spectras because their mouths are, s are now shut. And they're faster than us as well, that's no good. Uh, so they're the uh, arrow ones, so they're metal, so we need meat for that one. These ones. Down and out of account, you just go. Let's see. Can we go back to our friend and hopefully he gives us the goods? Unless there's a spectra in each room which we need to fight. Oh, he's gone! Well, isn't that just wonderful? He went. And there's no else to go now in this factory. Oh, well, hi. You definitely did win along this way, you fool. And this way is now open. I... I can hardly breathe. All right, this goes underground. Through here. And here's the tram. Vesper Monorail. Please choose your destination. Nation. Area 2. We'll go in order. We'll go in order of the areas and see what is up throughout these parts. And you're in here. Can't run anymore, my friend. There you is. Hello. Greetings. So, what did you find in the dormitories? Any spectras? There were no spectras. No. Really? None at all? How very peculiar. It seems things are a little different around here. I do not have many customers in this zone, so it is all new to me. Perhaps you will find more answers in the next area. Just go into the factory and see what you can find. No. Uh, are you not going to sell me anything then? Oh dear. Oh dearie dear. Maybe that's not your role here. You're definitely a figure of sorts. Not a figure of speech, but just a figure in general. Box here. 800 credits have been found. Lovely. I'll snatch that up right quick. Real quickly. And it seems we've got a riddle here because we need to flick certain switches. Hello. Will you two work to make more? Okay. You go do that then. And you? Oh. You had to interrupt me as soon as I was going to speak to that guy. It is in the pipes. What? The demon is in the pipes? Surely just... You. you want to unlock the door? Then pay attention to your surroundings. My surroundings, you say? What about my surroundings? The only thing I see are boxes. Boxes and more boxes and pipes. A lot of pipes. As I said in the beginning of Zone 3, I think this is the area that's going to be the most cryptic when it comes to puzzles and stuff like that. It went from giving you very nice hints to giving you very subtle hints to now it's just look at your surroundings and just flick some switches randomly here and there the switch is stuck on stuck on stuck off stuck on stuck off okay right so our surroundings is it gonna be the same as that one 
There we go, okay, so this is going to be the same. Okay, I thought it was going to be some sort of really, really obscure thing. The sugar, it is ours! Alright, man, just calm down, I'm not going to take it. It's not like we need it anyways. Not for our journey of purification. Actually, the act of purification means that we don't need sugar in the first place. Okay, what's your weakness? First of all, you are of the hook, so you need plastic. No, you're the anchor, so you need smoke. I mean, thank you for not being here anymore in my way. Eligo's meat. Alpha has achieved level 20. Omega level 20. Shattering exposure has been acquired. S. Blision has le achieved level 20. No, no. The sugar is ours. No, it's... Ah, uh, there you are. Good to see you are safe, Flare Bliss. I forgot to mention that the workers here tend to have a foul temper when it comes to the sh their sugar. They were positively livid, weren't they? It is good that you killed them. Anyway, you should move on to Area 3. Perhaps you will find more answers there. I will meet you there. Don't take too long. Fine, but I'm going to look around here just to be sure if there aren't any goodies like this. Two pieces of bear eyes meat have been found. Good, and this one's different. Yeah, push the door. And... Aha! Here's the shop. Buy what you need, but know that you may only access this shop once. Once you leave, this room will cease to exist. Do you wish to buy and support God's cause? Buy items. Absolutely. Weapons! The magnificent weapons! Self-esteem! Four of them! Um, uh, and three of those! One of those! Uh, three of those, because the other one's already got it. Let's see, three of those. Jonas Bat, one of those. We've done our Lord's work, I would think. Stagnation. Object that attacks all enemies during combat. Inflicts madness during combat. Okay, that's 5,000 credits. We're now poor 280 credits. Yeah, but we bought a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff that will fully heal and fully... Um, Restore CP. So there we go. I'm thinking that plus was something suspicious, considering it's a darker plus than the other. So interact with that and see what's going on. And I'm glad I did. And this over here, an ore of dominance has been found. Okay, let's move on with our lives. I forgot to go to that one first. That's fine though. We're all in this for the long run, anyways. So hopey that you guys will stay out of my way. There's even a basement to this one, so that must be where we come from when we defeat the the guardian of this district. Also, where's a save point as well? We haven't found one in ages. Or not at all within this district. The pipes lead to the end. And you it all goes down into the bowels. Okay. The bowels. There's that door, so we'll just ignore that for the moment. There are papers about sugar scans on the table. Okay. Memo, work hard and you will receive a just reward. Okay. The pipes are seen in. Okay. Access to below levels is prohibited by non-personnel. Alright. We'll go down there then and see what is up. Okay, so we need to activate these in a certain order. Blocks will move until they come to an obstacle. Your facing direction to determines the direction that block goes in. Okay, so it's not just uh, where things go, but it's also like how they go about it. So, that one. So, I think we all need to be in the center there, if I imagine so. Okay, so that's the first one. So the second one has to be down there, then to the left, and then up, and then to the left. There's the second one, and then this one requires just as many twists and turns, but less movement involved. Let's see, and you don't want to go to the red circle. Red circle is bad. I imagine so anyways. On the second and third one, I don't think you can... Wait, you can fail, because, um... Uh, they're literally right next to where you start. 
And there we go. And that is that. Yep, red circles I imagine are bad for the blocks, but harmless to us. <laughs> non personnel. I'll show you that. Um, actually, I'm just going to look in that other room first, just before we go down, because I imagine the story goes down there. But I have not looked within this room over here. I imagine it's going to be something that... Fine. On the bright side, that is an inaccessible area. Keep the tubes free of excessive debris. The furnaces are to be cleaned once a week to ensure proper sanctuary levels are reached. Yeah, because factories have that sort of thing. Report, to any, report any strange activity to your assigned captain. I am the captain of all captains, and I am also the angel. That will cleanse this world of impurities and spectres. The chimney has to be closed until the spectral infestation is taken care of. Okay. Like this one, for example. Gosh, it's dark in here. And there's five enemies. Yeah, I don't know about that one. And they're all so fast as well. They can move before we can. Maybe we haven't um, leveled up enough, actually. There are books about the purification process of sugar. I think they're all the same, really. You shouldn't be down here. All right. All right, man. Yeah, you shouldn't be down here either. You look like you're about to keel over any minute now. And nobody's going to come to save your butt. Not if you have a butt in the first place. Oh, oh, got him good. Got him real good. All right. No, not that one. You. Goodness sakes, these spectres and how fast they are and all that. Let's see. There's a piece of pipe on this table. We'll pick up the pipe. I'm sure it will be useful for something. And there's a note here. Do not move the pipes from the sugary dispensary failure to do so, result in termination. Oh no. We store excess sugar here. Please don't push the boxes around. Um We push the boxes around. A piece of Aligo's meat have been found. Yep, we do that. And we did push the boxes. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What's gonna be done about it? You gonna send me to your boss? I'll punish him as well. And this way, cool. There's a piece of pipe on the floor. We'll pick it up. Lovely. Lovely days. I'm glad I did that first time around. And this red room. Ah, this old gate is in the way. And we can't push those. Can't push. Oh, we can go around it though. But still no fruit of labor have been fruited. Okay, let's move on. Move on with our lives and hopefully stuff will come about when we go down and explore these parts of whatever it is that it is. Nothing there. Okay, what do we do with these pipes? Do we need to fix something? Because so imagine we do. Oh, hi. You're stuck in a the corner there. I didn't take it. Go away. Shut up, you. We'll purify you and your existence. Like, look at that bar go up real slowly. And they can attack before we can. Go down out of account, use. Like, we can deal damage to these guys, but they're always going to move first. They will terminate me for this. Alright. And there's a piece of pipe on the floor. You're lovely, we've got three pieces of pipe now. Right, these doors. It won't open. This one will, though. And something should be here, but it's not. And it won't open. So there's that. Let's move on. And you? You cannot pass until the pipes are fixed. Where do we need to fix the pipes? Remember, watch the pressure of the pipes to keep them from bursting. Broken pipes lead to termination. Alright. I'll try my best to, but what are the instructions? So each of these pipes have a certain shape to them. Look at the pipe. It's a straight piece along here. Okay, so there's three different ones which we need to put together. Place a pipe. I don't know which is... Oh my goodness sakes, it won't opt me out of this! Okay. So it should be... 
B. No. Remove it. Uh, B. No. Remove it. Ah, oh, this one. Uh, this is where B. I thought it would be like, you can only do it one sort of thing. Uh, D. No. Remove it. It should be C. You lack the item. Okay, so we need to find another pipe then. D. Cool. That's not it at the moment. We need to find another one somewhere in here. It's annoying that this is the only save point throughout this entire zone. So that you always have to come back here from the different rail lines in order to actually save the game. Oh, there we go. I didn't even notice that that was there. Like, follow the floor and all that jazz. It won't open from this side. Okay, so that won't open and stuff like that. Okay, we've got the last pipe. Thank you, Lord, oh, sweet baby something. Look at the pipe. And go along here and see. There we go. The pipe is now restored. So things should be working. There we go, it's brightened up now. And the guy is no longer very good. Excellent. Fantastic. Let us see if we can open that gate. Ah, that's green. We can finally go in there. Lovely. Lovely. Hell yeah. So open up. Prosperity ticket. Piece of paladins meat. The liars meat. All of them are now mine. <laughs> Let's go up the stairs and hopefully we won't find any more spectres along the way, but we're going to be saving base for everyone and then restoring our own CP for our expeditions and stuff like that. Go up the stairs and... Oh, what the hell happened to you? Burst a pipe or something? Did I struck a nerve on you or something? Oh, we shouldn't have restored ourselves because here is a perfectly able save point. Great. Hello. The sugar in the tube. In the tube. All right, in the tube. These are the sewers. He's putting the sugar in. I'm going to check downstairs before jumping in there. That's a good idea. Oh. What's the matter? Just great. A pot of corpses. What have you done? The bodies. The bodies must burn. Burn into ash. Wash down into area four. Area four. It is where it all ends. And begins. Go there. End it all. Alright. I fired it by corpses. Okay. We've done that one. Jump into the pipe. And. Oh, we're back here. The monorail is gone. Perhaps we could continue along the tracks. Okay. Jump onto the tracks. Which way, though, would we go? If that is the case, go right or go left. Jump across, yes. And, oh, this place is really dark. The bodies leave behind valuable items. All right, man. Don't, don't be creepy now. Maintain furnace temperature for optimal sugar output. We burn from here too. Okay. And over in here, we've got this man, this guy there. It keeps getting even darker and darker. We'll flip the switch on. The switch is now on. Lovely. And there's something on this body. A piece of Aligo's meat has been found on this corpse. Good. Wonderful. That's the only lit room. Goodness sakes. I lost the key. Did you now? How dare you lose the key? The key to everything. The key to civilization. Flip the switch. And there's something here. A queen has been found. Oh, a key must be for the door that is locked, Ben. Like, back up in the beginning of Zone 3. Aha, more valuable items. Abaddon's meat. A charred key, hell yeah. But maybe we need to wash it first before we can use it. And this room. Flip the switch. And it's gone even darker. Hey, the monorail's back. Lovely. Isn't that just spectacular? So wasn't it dark enough? It was just us transitioning into another scene. 
Excellent, fan dabby dozy, spectacular, amazing. We've done ourselves a good justice service, however you want to call it. Something along those lines. Okay, I don't need to go that way. Are you sure about that one? I think you do. Like, you really need to go that way. Even if there's not a map created there, you know. Uh, climb back up. Uh, the mono is gone. It's not gone, it's right there. I'm not going that way. Alright, it's just one way then. One way to go. I'm here, I'm here, welcome to Area 3. This is where they burn the bodies of workers to create the sugar that flows through the pipes. I've already been told this. Ah. No. Well, anyway, we should make haste to Area 4. No doubt the director is located there. Lucky for you, I have an access card. What would you do without me? Um, <laughs> enough storing this apart. Yeah, we'll be talking less. That's a thing. No. Uh, stop fishing, warmers there. Don't tell me not to fit it, the door's not. How dare you tell me not to fit it? It would be unwise to exit while the tram is moving. There we go. Attention, attention, obstacle detected. Vehicle is unable to move forward. No. It seems that there's a slight problem. So, weren't you able to take a look outside while I keep watch? No. Alright, all right, I'll, I'll have a look out. What is going on here? I'm not going there. What do you mean you're not going there? There's no one here. Why is it stopped, Ben? I'm not going there. <laughs> Alright. But what is... Zachary? Now mm -hmm. he's gone. Obstruction move. We all have been one of those regions apart. So Zachary is the, the, the obstacle, Ben. What the heck? He was here, now he's not. Yeah, that would be unwise. But we can go across these rooms, bro. Just realized that. Oh, there's no newspaper here. Look at the newspaper. I don't know what that says. No idea. But it seems to be something important. The door is locked. I don't know what code this says. Perhaps from a previous realm? Like, probably the newspaper would be any clue, but. Oh, 628. Okay. My beard! I kind of understood that it wasn't for me at all, at all. Something along the lines. Alright, type that down and then that would be that. Or maybe it's, um, is it Americanized? So we have to go through that order first. So, six, two, eight, one, nine, one, four. Access granted, thank you. And no. it seems you found me. <laughs> but to be honest, this really, what, what, this really wasn't my best hiding spot. But that's quite alright. I've grown tired of this little charade. And perhaps we can play a different game. It is your turn to hide. Thanks. I'm not suited for this, but the level is broken. We should leave the tram. Yeah, that's a great idea. Something is blocking the door. Yeah, a lot of things are blocking said door. Door. Has this changed? Nope, that is not changed. Let's go to somewhere else in here. I think we're stuck on this for the long run. I'm not going there. Uh, what about this way? Okay, we can go this way. Good. We can finally make some progression along here. Hibber, here, it is a dead end. We should head back. Thanks. We entered an altar realm, and we... Oh. Something was there. Fall into darkness, Flare Blist. Shut up, you. I don't care what you want, or what you have on board. Okay, folks. We're gonna leave things off here. We've made a lot of progression today, despite the difficulties we've had earlier. Throughout the other sections of the game itself. But thank you all so much for watching. We'll see each other on the next time. We're sincere to see. I still question, though, what would happen if we refused to let the batter be taken control by the puppet himself initially. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves.